Hey guys, how you doing? I'm here today to demonstrate for you upper body resistance training routine number one. This is what we've been working on for the first couple weeks in class. So our first exercise was our bicep curl. Um, and before I start that, I'm going to just say to you, always choose a resistance band that's appropriate for the exercise that you're going to do. And we certainly have many choices. We're going to place the resistance band under one foot or two, depending on how much resistance you want. We're going to keep our elbows close to our body. And we are going to get our arms in flexion and down. We're going to lift the resistance up and we're going to resist. We're always controlling the resistance. I'm going to give you a side view just to show you the elbow position nice and close to the side. And that was our bicep curl. Our next exercise is tricep extension. Now tricep extension. So here we go. We put one foot on the resistance band. We lift the resistance band up over our head. And we extend up and down. We extend up and down. And you'll always notice I'm in full control of the resistance band at all times. Last rep. And relax. Now remember, we should always be doing 15 repetitions for each of our exercises. But any time if you feel fatigued, you can stop. Next exercise, a lateral raise, working on deltoid muscles. So we're going to lift the resistance up off the side, and we're coming down. Lift them up off the side, and down, up, and down, up, and down. And that's our lateral raise. Next exercise was our upright row, working on trapezius muscles. So we're going to take the resistance in front of us. We're going to lift the resistance up under our chin. Remember, row means to pull, and we're down. We're going to go under our chin again. Down, lift the resistance up, and down, up, and down, and again, always controlling the resistance. Next exercise is our bent over row. Getting into this bent over position, we put two feet on the resistance band, we grip down on the resistance band, we sit down into it, we tuck our pelvis under for a nice flat back, and we lift the resistance up and down. Up and down, up and down. And for side view, so you can see the back position, nice and flat. Try to get that back nice and flat. And again, always control the resistance. Next exercise is our push up, working our pecs. Now, we said you have a few different choices to do your push up. We can do an isometric push up where we have no movement, we just hold the position. You could also hold the position to make it more challenging down at the bottom. Other than that, we have varying degrees of range. We can do a little bit, we can do more. All depends on what your capabilities are. Always sucking your stomach up nice and tight, keeping that core nice and strong. That's our push up. And last but not least, we have some ab work. So we do regular crunches. Now when we do our crunches, remember, we don't want to pull on our head because we want to keep our neck safe. So we're going to get into our crunch position, and you're going to notice that when I get to the top of my crunch, the distance between my chin and my chest remain constant. I don't want to be pulling and doing this. So here, we're going to begin. We're going to spot us the ceiling, and we're going to lift up and down. Upper body comes up off the ground, we keep our head in one position, we look at the ceiling the whole time, and we come down. And again, we try to re repeat as many reps as we need to reach muscle fatigue. And there are variations, we can put our feet up, we can have our hands back, we can put our hands across our chest, wherever you feel comfortable, as long as that head position is constant. That's our kick. So that brings us to the end of routine number one for upper body. I'll see you in class.